Okay, we're just getting our strike water up to temperature. And we will be right on it. Supercharger on the grandfather. got the grain basket in there now I should have the cord down here oh it's already plugged in sweet starting to look nice and clear beautiful look at that (laughs) 
Okay, we're getting up to 75 degrees for mash out and we will be adding our sparge water after that just to have a another gander at how clear we're looking that's beautiful and clear that's awesome brilliant stuff and I uh, crossed my grain slightly finer this time just to uh, try and up my efficiency a wee bit so I was aiming for around 75 and last time I got 71 so I'm not far off where I should be okay we're just starting mash out now 15 minutes at 75 and then we're gonna sparge good things to come Um, start sparge. out there with the uh, hop spider and the grandfather and that is when you reach your boil when you reach your boil you put in the in the hop spider and that helps break up the uh, the vigorous boil okay we'll grab our hops and in goes Seven grams of Pacific Jade. Ten minutes. Ah, uh, for sixty minutes. Okay, for some reason we've switched to manual mode. So we we're dumping in our 10 minute addition and we'll get the counterflow water chiller hooked up. Okay, hop stand. I need to first of all get this down to 78 degrees 
Okay, we're at just over 80 degrees. And I think what we'll do is add our hops now. And we'll pull for 15 minutes. And uh, as we can see here, I've got the heat on. It's set to 78. And see it's just starting to heat up a little now. So it'll keep it at around 78 degrees. So that's all good. We've got 12 minutes left to go. And then we'll be transferring it to the fermenter and putting it in the fermentation chamber. Just about time to crack a coldie. Okay, so that's the hop stand done. And now I shall take this contraption and wind it round there. So I've got and Let me think, how can I do this? If I put that under there like that, we should be in business. Just like that. And this will take a good, yeah, you know, 20 minutes. I would say to to uh, go in there quite right we're at 17 degrees going into the fermenter so that's good yeah, we can see that and I'll just give this a bit of a helping hand back and see what volume we got and it's at this point when we're two-thirds full that I'll add the yeast There's around about 300 grams of hops in this, so it's quite good that the pump's not getting stuck or anything. We're getting down there a wee bit. Right, we'll be back when we've uh, filled up and uh, ready to go in the fermenter, uh, in the fermentation chamber. Okay. So we didn't quite hit our um, numbers. We we got 74% efficiency, uh, which is okay. Which is okay.
Okay, got to come down a wee bit in temp, but that's her. She's in the fermenting fridge and she is off to a good start. Okay, so that's another brew day done. I'm just cleaning the grandfather as we speak. And it's in the fermenter. We've got 74% efficiency down a point, but it's close enough. Um, this one is uh, dedicated to Paul Wicksteed, who uh, was one of the um, people that bought this recipe, well, the person that brought this recipe to light um, to the brewing community and uh, Panhead customers were quite kind to uh, offer up the recipe for us and uh, I'm going to have a citrus smash what in the world that didn't pour up the way I expected it to little bit heady but uh, awfully clear yeah rest in peace Paul your memory lives on through our, our brewing community cheers thanks for watching do uh, do subscribe if you're not already subscribed I mean you know you can always unsubscribe later on if it's not something that you're terribly impressed with yeah look at that look at that cheers